All right, I've had somebody pestering me about making a video on how to mix the Blue Flame or Clear Flame Sager Sauce kit using Pump Up Sprayer or the IPS Pro. So here we go, Jason Waters, <clears throat> getting it done, taking a gallon. That's a gallon, that's a five quart unit. What you need to do, and the instructions are on the side of the labels how to mix that, but I know we're guys and we don't like reading instructions. So the first thing we do, and hopefully I can make this do one-handed. This is a uh, two ounce scoop. So for every gallon of water you're gonna use, you use two ounces to three ounces. Now, if we're gonna do nasty and we're gonna flame this thing, let's get in there a scoop and a half, three ounces. Yeah, pardon the overflow. You could also do that with the Sager Sauce Free and Clear. Exact same cleaning formula, just no blue color and no lemon scent. All right, so we also have another, the booster powder. It's a powdered peroxide. So in that, per gallon, we're gonna give her a scoop, two ounces. You can sometimes go a scoop and a half, but this is the product that's harder to get to uh, absorb in water and, and just dissolve in water. And it will also make things expand. The next thing is our G-Force liquid soy-based booster. Pardon the label there, she's getting a little streaky today. For every gallon, you're going to go about two ounces, quarter cup to three ounces. So we'll just put that in there. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all it takes to make a blue flame boosted pack. Except really, really, really hot water. My water here at my shop is super hot and I was preheating a little bit before. Now the booster powder inside there, have you seen my other video doing it? That thing can get where it'll start expanding. Now, I'm filling up the water. Now, the Sager sauce dissolves pretty well. If you start getting eight and nine scoops in there because you're doing a hydroforce eight to one, whatever, it's gonna take a little more to dissolve because you need enough water to absorb into all the powder. So there, I'm about half full right now. And I'm just gonna grab a cap. So if you were to use it in, say, a regular gallon jug, you'd do the same thing. I'm going to get this thing stirring up. Now with any powdered product, start turning it upside down and shaking it around. You can even have a little hot water and before you add it, and notice if you can, it's starting to expand a little bit. That's the booster powder, the powdered peroxide. It's starting to get active. And when I start releasing, it'll go push. Ah, a little push. So now, it's getting absorbing. I want one full gallon of water. That's what I've got for that formula in there. So I'm gonna hit my gallon mark. Boom. Nice with the five quart, there's a little more room in it. Okay, so there's one gallon. Put that in your pump up or take your IPS sprayer, get that thing in there, beautiful little unit that is, and start spraying. Okay, so if you want, say, two gallons, obviously do the math, you're gonna make two of those. If you want, and like this case, this container holds 3.03 .03 gallons to the top, but just go three gallons. Mix it up, do the math. Three times whatever you're doing. Two times whatever you're doing for gallons. There you go. That is your Blue Flame Boosted Pack. You are ready to rock and roll. Just make sure it has got all of it dissolved there. And go light it up. Talk to y'all later. There you go, Jason. I got her done.